The Welcome Home a Hero program was launched on June 14, 2004 by founder and coordinator Donna Cranston. DFW Airport, along with Atlanta Hartsfield, were the two airports used for r, &R flights. The program was developed for community volunteers to greet and support servicemen and women from all branches of the military returning to the U.S. from Iraq and Afghanistan deployments. Every day, more than 100 soldiers pass through DFW on their way home. Their charter flights received a water cannon salute as their airplane taxied in. Once the troops deplaned, crowds of dozens, even hundreds of volunteers cheered with patriotic signs and music, handing out roses and bottled water. Some volunteers served in other ways. For instance, one couple made thousands of travel pillows. Another woman collected flip-flops to send to soldiers in Iraq. During the program's run, Welcome Home a Hero was nationally recognized as a model for other airports' civic participations. It grew into one of the largest public service projects in North Texas, receiving numerous awards, including the prestigious George Washington Honor Medal. On March 14, 2012, the Welcome Home Hero program saw its last r, &R flight due to a decrease in the number of deployed service members traveling between the United States and the Middle East. Over the years, program volunteers welcome home more than one million troops and more than 110 community and civic organizations and businesses, as well as 10,000 individual volunteers had participated. Today, the USO facility remains in place as it continues to support active military traveling through the airport. Many of the volunteers who participated in the Welcome Home a Hero program continue to volunteer for the DFW USO. That way, they're still playing a role in supporting the military right here at home.